There are 78 organs in the human body. And while each of us have our own job to do, there are five of us that are considered vital in order for the big guy to keep moving. That's brain, lungs, liver, kidneys, and me, heart. Now he hasn't been the most kind to us over the years. He loves his salty foods. He was a heavy drinker and smoker, so that's taken a toll on us, but he's changed his diet, puts down the bottle on most nights. A few years ago, I started not doing so well. Around this same time, my youngest daughter, Anita, and Brain, well, they got into a few arguments, and they stopped talking. Stubborn thing the mind is, to latch on to anger like a cancer, to be so selfish and not consider what that could do to the rest of the body, doctors say. Psychological distress can trigger weakness in the heart muscle. One day, I started to feel sluggish. I felt faint and couldn't do my job right. They diagnosed the big guy with congestive heart failure, a chronic condition with a life expectancy of less than five years, says if I don't show up for work, lungs will slowly drown in blood, legs will retain fluid and swell, hypotension will start to set in. If the big guy doesn't get help quickly, we could all be dead in the matter of hours and now brain won't stop thinking about the memories he hasn't been able to make yet says it's up to me to get us there and I'm trying but I'm sick and I'm not sure how much longer I have liver and lungs can't stop apologizing for their cravings over the years they blame themselves for the damage but I remind them it is also my job to forgive to love despite a fault that we are all in this together and kidneys kidneys are so afraid feel so overwhelmed every time I start to slow down when I can't find the strength to flex my valves enough all the pressure is left on them to do the work, to filter out the overflow of trauma I leave behind and I break a little more for the body I was built to keep afloat. If I had the power to imagine, I would dream of a second chance to beat from the beginning again. Imagine the vital choices we could have made together to save this man, what I would give to love my family all over again or forever if I could. I talk about forgiveness for the other organs as if I myself even knows what it means to forgive another living thing outside of my own body and still I have yet to forgive brain for his mistakes, still blame him for my own downfall. Sometimes I wonder if my children's hearts have taken after me. If they palpulate more anger than joy, I bet that is what actually blocks the arteries. And if the congestion of animosity and pain are the true causes of heart failure, I wonder if that means I still have time to recover, to be beyond the deadline the doctors have given me. So every day, I still show up to work. And I hope my pulse is strong enough to let go of the past and hold on to forgiveness. I hope I'm strong enough to give the big guy a fighting chance to heal.